So the long and short of this video is that I'm done with Anthem. Bioware, good luck to you. I hope you get something out of this game. I just, I cannot stand this game at this point. And it's probably had one of the worst development cycles I've ever seen in my entire life as a gamer. And that spans for like 16 plus years. And weirdly enough, I think it's mostly on the publisher. But I, I mean, it's been eight months since I've been excited for Anthem, since I saw more gameplay for it. And in that eight months, I haven't really seen anything that's impressed me that has said this is going to be a great game. I've seen some, I've seen a lot of good. I haven't seen a lot of great. I saw a lot of the producer walkthroughs that the Anthem team produced. I didn't like it. I saw some gameplay from some media sources. I didn't like it. Then obviously this weekend with the technical difficulties of the game, of the demo that were released, I almost like, I, I was, that was, that was almost the straw that broke the camel's back. But I said, well, maybe they can fix those def uh, those technical difficulties before the game comes out, hopefully before the public demo comes out this weekend. But the straw that broke my back was the microtransactions being leaked this week on Monday or Tuesday. Listen, there's no reason for a game of this caliber, $60, to have microtransactions, and I'll get into it in a second. But for starters, the model in question that EA has decided to go with for the microtransactions are Fortnite microtransactions, which Fortnite's microtransactions are pretty acceptable for a couple of different reasons. One, a lot of the skins that they do release are of pretty good quality. Two, you can actually get a lot of really, really great skins for $9 if you just play the game because of the battle pass, obviously. And then three, EA skins and their pricing is just absurd, especially when their game is $60. It should be for free. You should be getting all of this content for free in weekly updates, but they want to make money and also exploit Bioware at the same time. So they did a great job in that facet. So the skins in question are priced probably around $20. The Guardian armor pack is 20, sh uh, 20 not 20,000, 2,000 shards, excuse me. The Dreadnought armor pack is 2,000 shards as well. And then they have a fabric material, which is I think 400 shards, which is $4. I'll just say the actual prices here. The graphic midnight shard is, let me try and read this, is $4. The gum on shoe emote is $12. And I, I, I couldn't be bothered with the last one. None of these microtransactions look worth $12 in Fortnite. Like, they, they just don't. And again, I have to express that it is a full-priced game, a AAA release. It, it just makes no sense to me to release a game with microtransactions in it when I already paid $60 for it. And if, if that is your metric of making money, then release the game for free. And I've kind of gone back and forth with debating on whether microtransactions have been in, should be in $60 full priced games. And the answer is no, for a reason that I'm going to get into in a second. But first, it's just infuriating that they released technical difficulties in a demo that they had such big problems with that demo and the leak of the microtransactions in a week span. And in that same week span, Insomniac releases two iconic skins that people have been waiting for for months, pretty much since the game was released and announced. People have been waiting for these two skins, the Future Foundation skin and the Fantastic Four paper bag skin for free. And it, it's just, they look better than the $20 skins that EA is putting up on, or in Anthem, the $20 leaked skins, excuse me. They look far better. They're far more desired. And it's just, it seems so sleazy and lazy that after all of this ish, uh, after all of these issues, after the development hell that Anthem has undergone, the cherry on top, the icing on the cake, the reward that I get as someone who has waited for this game to come out and waited for more information and ha hasn't really been impressed by the gameplay that I've seen, the reward that I get is microtransactions being leaked in the same week that a AAA developed game, Spider-Man PS4, releases free content, releases free high quality skins on the game. So that's that's it. I, I'm not talking about Anthem uh, ever unless something major happens, but hopefully again, Bioware, good luck to you. Uh, EA, you've done it again.